Have you ever wondered what happens if robots drive the train? Well, it has happened finally, and we are here to share it with you in this video. Trains have been an affordable and convenient means of transporting people and cargo for many years. In addition, this journey has become more efficient with the integration of AI in it. Yes, you heard right. China has shocked the world with successfully transitioning the use of AI in train system, making it fastest in the world. However, is it safe for passengers to travel in these trains? And how this will benefit the Chinese economy? This video covers everything. So watch the video till the end so you not miss anything. Hello viewers and welcome back to our channel GeoKit, your daily guide to geopolitical affairs. If you are new to the channel and enjoy learning about fast-paced modernity, especially about the technological innovations, you will find our videos helpful. So without any delay, let's get started. China has now fully transitioned to the use of artificial intelligence in the operation and maintenance of its rail network. This 45,000 kilometer high-speed rail network is the largest on Earth and is controlled by an AI system in Beijing. According to engineers who were involved in the project, this system has a high accuracy level of about 89% and has achieved several milestones. An AI system in Beijing is processing vast amounts of real-time data all across the country and can alert maintenance teams of abnormal situations within 40 minutes, with an accuracy as high as 95%. Before China started work on its first high-speed rail line 15 years ago, critics raised concerns about its maintenance. They expected the maintenance to be challenging as wires and rails will eventually age with time. By the end of last year, the network surpassed the length of the equator, posing an engineering and technological challenge to maintain its safe operation. Liu Dawan, a senior engineer at the China State Railway Groups, noted that the system is efficient and this helps on-site teams conduct re-inspections and repairs as quickly as possible. China's high-speed rail is the fastest in the world. It is currently operating at 350 km per hour and plans to increase to 400 next year. The government plans to continue this expansion till it connects all cities with populations over 500,000. With AI, the number of minor track faults in China's operational high-speed railway lines decreased by 80% in the past year. None of these railway lines received any warnings about speed reduction due to major track irregularity issues. The amplitude of rail movement caused by strong winds also decreased significantly even on massive valley spanning bridges with the application of AI technology. Moreover, the AI system is capable of accurately predicting faults and issuing warnings before problems arise. Hence, it has been instrumental in the timely maintenance of high-speed rail lines. The researchers note that this has kept the rail lines in even better shape compared to when it was first built. The railway network in the U.S. is currently facing the predicted challenges, as improper maintenance has caused frequent safety risks. The number of average derailments has exceeded 2,800 per year in the past 50 years, peaking at nearly 10,000 in 1978. Over a decade ago, countries like Germany and Switzerland first recognized the possible use of AI for rail management. Both countries tried using AI to improve their rail networks. Although, the team noted that these railway networks were smaller compared to China's. This led Chinese railway scientists to extensively collect raw data for AI to train the system. Chinese railway scientists and engineers collected and organized nearly 200 terabytes of raw data for AI of train body movements, rail vibrations, waveform values from wheel sensors, and meteorological records, more than 10 times the entire data volume of the U.S. Library of Congress. Even electromagnetic spectrum monitoring records have been used to train the system. The previous maintenance management headquarters could issue warnings once a week. However, the research team noted that the technology had improved the efficiency of new data analysis by 85% after they trained their AI model on this data. In the peer-reviewed paper published by the academic journal China Railway, the challenge the research team predicted was in human power. The research team identified a future problem that the incomes are rising, birth rates are decreasing, and the population is aging. Hence, the researchers have predicted a gradual decrease in the number of maintenance workers. Before we proceed further, discussing what kind of problems China's railway system is facing and how Chinese scientists are tackling it, I'd like to hear from you. Are you finding this video informative? Feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. And if you're finding it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. 
Your support means a lot to us and helps us reach a wider audience and the content that you'll love. Let's continue this journey together. According to the researchers, machine intelligence can predict and issue warnings before problems arise, enabling precise and timely maintenance that keeps the infrastructure of high-speed rail lines in better condition than when it was first built. Nayu and his team said the significant amount of data generated by the sensors embedded in high-speed rail infrastructure was forcing China to adopt new technologies such as big data and AI. Further, they said that the adoption of these technologies allowed for more precise and timely assessments and scientific evaluations of infrastructure service status. After years of efforts, Chinese railway scientists and engineers have solved challenges in comprehensive risk perception, equipment evaluation, and precise trend predictions in engineering, power supply, and telecommunications. The result was scientific support for achieving proactive safety prevention and precise infrastructure maintenance for high-speed railways, the engineers said. AI's advantage lies in its ability to analyze diverse data, identify potential problem-related clues, and uncover previously unknown connections within seemingly chaotic data sets. This enables more precise fault identification and prediction. China State Railway Group implemented a data management protocol in 2022, imposing numerous restrictions on data storage, usage, and other privileges to make sure the system remains under control. The engineers said that the AI algorithms underwent harsh human review to ensure their safety before being included in the toolbox. While the AI technology gap between China and the US appears to be widening, some observers suggest it is actually narrowing and that there may be Chinese breakthroughs in certain critical areas using smaller, specialized models. US government sanctions are preventing China from accessing the most advanced AI chips, slowing its development of large models like OpenAI's Sora and its realistic simulations of the physical world, which we have already covered this in our previous video that how US is cutting off trade with China and preventing its companies like NVIDIA to provide semiconductor chips to China. A scientist working in AI-applied research in Beijing said that the emergence of large models like ChatGPT and Sora was a pleasant surprise, and if the U.S. can translate this technology into tangible productivity, it has the potential to maintain its leadership position in the world. Otherwise, the leadership will be an illusion. China shows the latest evolution of trains as it has fully integrated AI into the operation and maintenance of its high-speed railway system. In other words, AI ensures the world's largest high-speed railway system runs smoothly and efficiently. Do you think that China will find alternative to NVIDIA chips for more advanced AI technology? Is it possible for China to dominate the AI industry, as it has already predicted 5% growth this year, which we have covered in the previous video, which you can watch this by clicking on the link mentioned in the description. Let us know your opinions in the comment section, and don't forget to share the video, and like, and click on the subscribe button as well, for remaining updated of the current trends in this fast-paced modern world. Until the next video, stay tuned.